Hello, Sunshine here. I'm ready to take another shot at Outlast. However, I will be taking the difficulty down to easy. Why, you ask? Because of the freaking batteries. I mean, not having those batteries is, is deteriorating my enjoyment of the game. So let me make sure. Yep, it's still there. Okay. Okay, normal. I'm sorry, normal is... Okay. Apply. Return to game. Um, let's see. Is there inventory? No, there isn't. Okay. So anyway, uh, by the way, uh, this game is really good looking. When you go, pardon me, when you go to uh, full uh, FPS, it's a little hard to see here because I had toned it down to 30. But uh, at full FPS, this thing is really smooth. I mean, really realistic. Uh, F. Who's there? Ray, <laughs> Maybelline, or Ray, um, uh, Avon calling. That's what it is. So yeah. So as you see, I've got two of ten batteries now, and actually I can do that. Okay. So I did a couple practice runs just because I was annoyed to hell because of this. So the best way I came up with was to go one, two, and then wait for him to come by, and then go for the breaker. So, let me prep. Uh, bumper. Oh, that was interesting. I clicked to held and then I let go, and that worked out pretty nicely. I remember that. Uh, what I mean is, is that uh, um, instead of pushing the door open, here I'll show you. This is a normal click. No, I guess that was alright. Okay, fine. So, the idea is to go one, run over, hit the second one, hide, and then go for the breaker, which is where the other guy comes from. So, you ready for it? Here's the fun. And one, run. Naka naka. And two. Alright, where do I hide? Uh, back here. question is, is he going to come in here first or not? Oh, I don't know which he's going to hit first. I think he's coming here. Nice. Makes things easier for me. Now, I do know there are two batteries in the next room, so I'm going to want to try and grab those. I remember to wait for that all clear. Okay, that's my battery. Not that great. Get very gently. Let's go. Don't need that. I guess I will need that. Grab these. Oh crap, they're not here anymore. Okay. Now let's wait. Uh. There we go. Because I know he's coming back at some point. Good. I got good visibility here. Now what about the other side of this? Got one door over there. Alright. And now we wait. I hear a repetitive sound. It's not my heartbeat, is it? It is. Huh. I'm going to wait here because I want him to come back so I can be sure that he's not going to freaking surprise me from behind. Dang. I think someone just slapped a piano wire while it was still on the piano. 
I had discovered I was not talking very much last set probably because I was concentrating and trying not to screw up. Really? It's going to be the instant I turn around and walk that he's going to come in. I mean, seriously, it happens every time. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, so I've got a door and a corner. Uh, I lost my view here. Up oh, there it is. Nice. Did I see a glitch there? No. Wait, did I hear something? I suppose another issue with me talking is being able to hear stuff. Ah, here he comes. I think. Well? This is annoying. Alright. I'll take the bait. I'm stupid for doing so, but I'll do it anyway. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More God, there's just they're just all over here, aren't they? Oh, brilliant. Ah, I'll have that. What else do we got here? What is that? Just water, I guess, or what have you. Water, yeah, that's what it is. Water. Alright, whatever. Load your damn camera. Yeah, I was wondering if, if they could see the night vision camera. Because, theoretically, it's bright in my face. Alright. Oh, it's a T? That's even worse. that what the hell is this what the hell is that 440 volts really I'm curious as to whether that's historical kind of voltage because I know we got 110 and 220 why is that going up and down fire I guess watching it. Oh, no, no. I guess not. Okay. Whatever. Yes, I'm crouching a lot. What do you want? Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, I get a little bit of visibility when I get next to the wall. That's a little helpful. the door? Yeah, that's the door. All right. That's the breaker, which means I'm in danger. Okay, lockers. Now, we know they look at lockers, so let's reconsider this for a moment. Let's be strategic about this. Alright, what else we got in here? Wheelchair. Not much else. Could hide there, but that would be a little weird. Well, at the very least, I need to close the door. Don't close the door. Yeah. No choice to close it quietly. Isn't that nice? Okay. Well. No point in being a coward about it. Actually, look at this. By the way, I can't crouch in these lockers. Okay, I hit it. Oh, they don't know anything's up yet because... Well, no. Oh, 
Alright, in theory I'm okay until they start knocking on the door. But the lights aren't on yet because I need to... What the fuck was that? Oh fuck. Run! <laughs> and let's hope he doesn't pick this locker or I'm gonna have to start running. <laughs> well... Got the other one. <laughs> He's gonna go for this one too. Ooh, I guessed. <laughs> okay, now he's come this way, which means his pattern is now different. Which means God knows what, honestly. I'd be tempted to just stay here and wait for him to come back. That way I have a grasp on where he is. And if he does come in, I'll hide against that once he goes over there. Strategy! I really don't like this flashlight thing in this. I can understand wanting to be claustrophobic, but that should be for a higher setting. If you want someone to enjoy the experience, you don't throw them at the super hardest levels. I like it, but not for people like me who aren't into the super severe masochist stuff. I'll take masochism in my own way, thank you. <laughs> anyway. Right, so he hasn't come back yet. Let me guess. I thought I heard something. God, he's gonna be right there, isn't he? I was gonna say, if he comes up right when I bring the... Okay. Safe so far. his old pattern? Maybe not. Tell the... Oh, I heard a footstep. Hi! Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Run! I have no idea. Okay, that was a bad move. Oh, God. I couldn't get through the frickin' door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run! 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 Does it even make a difference if I run? Honestly? I'm curious. Are you s <laughs> There's the easy level for you. <laughs> so you can run away, and boy, did he give up pursuit quickly. Is it safe? So it looks like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Looks like it was the same guy who was behind that those wood slats earlier. Leave this way, I can look without using my stupid flashlight. Should have had my stupid camera up though. Lens flare for the win. See up there. I said up, up the. <laughs> All right. Theoretically, this is the easy part. Theoretically. Uh, I don't 
think he's gonna come this over the thing unless he has a specific reason to do so. Be nice if you could. Well, I mean, you can peek around corners. This is true. In theory. was stuck under the uh, edge there. Shit. Not sure what's gonna happen here. Okay. Yeah, I forgot the layout. My bad. Alright. Now I can keep watch. As soon as he goes up there, then I'll be clear. Now the question is, should I wait that long? Also, blip. I can film him later. I might do some editing here. I really want to wait until he hits that thing so I know exactly where he is. What else we got around here? This last thing probably can't see me. I hate holding down crouch. I could do the toggle crouch, but excuse me, sip of water here. Not like I'm nervous or anything. <laughs> one of my uh, friends was watching one of my uh, first, one of the first sets of this, and was amused by my reactions. I don't even know if I'm going to fast forward through this, but yeah. If I wanted to be really sure, I would wait here. The worst case scenario is he's waiting for me. So let's creep a bit closer, shall we? Wish you could do like a peek over. Stupid soundtrack is getting in my ears. Well, I need to hear what's going on around me. That's, I guess that's a, that's a point. Is that if you're going to take away all, uh, my sight, at least give me my hearing. Which you're not with the stupid soundtrack, which I can't... No, I can't turn it down. I don't hear water sloshing around. There's that piano slap again. I'm gonna stand up. Hit it and run? I hear a whistle. I don't know if that's in real life or not. this. Alright. Hit it and run. You're a pretty little one. Damn straight, get out of here. So what I probably missed was he broke through that the boards and then started going after me. Thankfully I was already on the run. <laughs> right. Easy save. 
And then there's that iron gate. I bet there's going to be a jump scare there, which means I'll have to run out of here. Is he going to come back? Easy save. What was that sound? God. This is one reason I hate games like this. Because I'm not sure what's going to happen if I move. I like it better when I have a better grasp of my surroundings. Like, for example, Metal Gear Solid with its Soliton radar. I thought that was really cool, because then I had a better feel for my surroundings. If you're actually there, you would actually feel some of this stuff, no matter how crazy you are or what have you. All right. Very gently. Jump scare, yes. Jump scare, no. Some kind of yeah, I got that. I know, I left hints on. <sighs> Anyone there? No. Ah! Now what are you going to do to me? That's That wasn't uh, me boasting. That's an honest question. Now what are you going to do to me? Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me think. Alright. In theory, I would need to go back security to open the front door. We all know that's not how this is going to work. So, question is what's going to happen? I'm probably going to get charged. By what from where? Uh, there's the big guy. There's the other uh, guys watching TV over there. Places to hide? Not many. I could do a toilet stall, I suppose. Or I could, no, probably couldn't hide in that one room. Alright. Let's do this. For posterity. I hear something. Uh... Karate Kid?